All right, so I got this Facebook inbox question from this guy asking me, hey Luke, when do you think you'll finally make it? When will you be happy with where you're at in life? And I think what he was meaning was that, will you finally be happy when you uh, reached 100,000 subscri 100, subscribers, then you've made it. Or that you're financially independent and you've got a decent amount of money. Um, or you're kind of famous and influential. Or maybe he was meaning when I finally got that girlfriend and I was you know, just happy with my life. I did what I liked doing and I had a girlfriend. Or maybe he was talking about when I like, found the girl I would spend the rest of my life with. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he was meaning to, that when I would finally get it. But I think he's coming, the perspective that he's coming at life with isn't exactly the best perspective on how to live your life in my opinion. Because if you're looking at life as if there's like an end goal, that there's this thing that you have to reach, um, a finish line, that finish line might come, but once you make it to that finish line, you're always going to want more. You're always going to want the next thing. You're going to want to deepen that relationship. You're going to want to make more money. You're going to you're going to want to contribute to the world and express your passion uh, more thoroughly. You're going to want to impact more people. You're going to want to make more money. You're going to want to do whatever it is. And that finish line, once you pass it, A, you might not ever get to that finish line. B, once you start going to that finish line, you might change your mind and be like, I didn't even want that in the first place. And C, you might get to that finish line and realize, oh, I made it. What do I do with my life now? And that uh, they're, they're never, the finish line just keeps going. They're, they're never, there are finish lines, but there really never is the finish line. Life just keeps going. And the best way to think about this is that life is like music. You gotta, there's, there's, there is a beginning and the end, or I kind of think we, we like live an infinite amount of lives, but who knows, we might just die. But that life is just music. There's ups and downs, but what you really gotta do is just embrace the dance and, and enjoy the process. I, I really like Shoga, who's behind the camera, he likes to say, embrace the dance. <laughs> um, and you just got to see the beauty in the unfolding of things. That's another thing Shigo says. <laughs> um, and life likes to give you lots of tosses and turns. And one big thing that I like to do is I have outcomes, I have goals, I have desires. I know what I want. I think that's a really important thing to know exactly what you want and really think exactly what do I want with life. What goal do I want? Do I want this many subscribers? Do I want to influence this many people? Do I want this passion? Know what you want. That's so important. And like broadcast that, tell your friends, journal. It's so important. But what I like to do is I like to think of every single different outcome that can happen and accept every single outcome. When I was doing pranks, I thought I would be doing pranks for like five years. Um, and after a year, I realized actually I'm not really passionate about this anymore. Now I'm doing vlogs. Now I think I'm like that was a complete surprise and how things have unfolded have been a complete surprise to me. And life just continues to surprise me over and over and over again. So now I actually expect the unexpected to happen. I expect the most unlikely thing to happen. <laughs> and the most unlikely thing just keeps happening. It's, it's a little freaky, like, it's like, what's happening here? There's someone behind the scenes, like, doing some, like, messing with me here. And so what I like to do is I like to think of what's my desire, and I like, I like to think of every single outcome that could happen and accept every single outcome. All right, I want that girl to be my girlfriend. And I think, okay, what if the next time I, I'm out and I see that girl making out with another guy? That's something I'll accept. And I accept that if I just embrace the dance and do the best I can, that somehow that even if I don't get what I want that that thing where I don't get what I want will lead me to something even better later on and if I just embrace the dance embrace the highs and the lows that the best thing just keeps happening and you just gotta embrace the dance and swim with it and if you really think about it that life is music that's really the only option that we have and when you embrace the dance see the beauty in the unfolding of things when bad things happen it might be a gift in disguise you start to just swim with life and life just becomes a lot more fun having the attitude that life is like music and another point is I, I love analyzing things. I'm a very analytical person. I'm analyzing how I'm going to get to that goal. I'm analyzing, I'm becoming out, uh, free of outcome by analyzing all the different outcomes that every single failure, everything that could go wrong, what's the worst possible thing that could happen if I do this and accepting all of them. And it actually it just really helps to think of ev what's everything that could go wrong. What's the worst thing that can happen here? What are all the different paths that this thing could lead to? And accept all those outcomes. I'm very analytical and I really highly recommend you just, you know, analyze shit. But at the end of the day, there are an infinite amount of different things that you can analyze and you're never really going to know what to do. And the best way to make your decisions in your life is I really think trusting your gut and your heart. You can think with your mind, 
Like, this is an Elliot Hulse thing. You think with your mind, you can think with your balls, you can think with your sexual organs, your thinking organ, but the best thing to do is follow your heart and see where your heart, that gut, your feelings guide you. And your feelings never lead you wrong. Analyze the shit out of things, but really just trust your heart, because you never know. Um, it seems like with relationships with girls, you always learn lessons from the previous girl. So you get over the relationships, and you're sad, you're bummed, you thought that girl might be the one, you get into a new relationship, and you realize all the things you learned from the older relationship actually improved the new relationship, and you're so happy in this new relationship. And things start to go sour, you finally get a new, new girlfriend. And then uh, you're like, wow, I like this relationship even better, I learned so much from the old relationship. And when you get to the point where you decide, this is actually the girl I want to Deal with, my, deal with our problems and actually try to settle down with this girl for a long period of time? Or is this the girl that maybe I should move on, there's a better girl later on in life? And the fact of the matter is you will never know. You just gotta embrace the dance and go with it. And don't, you can analyze it, please analyze it, but what you gotta do is just focus on what your heart is telling you and realize that when, when are you the best person you are? When are you expressing yourself? When do you feel the best? Follow your heart passion, and when you trust your heart, that's when the best things happen. Embrace the dance and Trust and see the beauty in the, unfoldings, in the unfolding of things. Shout out to Sugar Garcia and Freddie Fairhair behind the camera. Peace out. By the way, check out this awesome view over here. This view? <laughs> no, not that. I was talking about the view of Fred. <laughs> Whether you're shit talking your friends, you're shit talking your family, or you're shit talking like the president, it's really apparent in society that everyone likes to talk shit about everyone else. And I think it's really, whenever you're talking shit about someone else, it's really a reflection on your own self.